across planet internet, self-appointed scientists are filming themselves in action. These internet heroes are doing bizarre experiments, making extraordinary inventions, and creating amazing scientific stunts. We've gathered a team of top science brains to analyze just how they do it, why they do it, and choose the very best. It's science, but not as you know it. So don't even think about trying this at home. These are outrageous acts of science. So far we've flung, fallen, and flown our way through our rebooter rundown. But as we enter our top five, it's time for a musical interlude from our mechanical maestro. This is Arpeggio, a fully automated piano playing robot. Created by American inventor Nick Morris, it's able to row up to any piano and play like a pro. This is music to my ears. This is awesome. So how does this machine play the piano? Arpeggio has several advantages over a human piano player, one of which is the number of fingers. We have 10, Arpeggio has 88. That's one finger for every key. Each of Arpeggio's 88 fingers is controlled by a solenoid. A solenoid converts electrical energy into mechanical movement. Each finger is mounted like a seesaw. On one end is the solenoid, and on the other end is the piano key. Once the electricity is sent to a particular solenoid, it moves that end up, tipping the seesaw down, and now the finger presses the piano key. But how can Arpeggio play as subtly as a human pianist? The unique thing about Arpeggio is that it has analyzed thousands of human performances, especially when it comes to how hard each note is pressed. Arpeggio is able to determine between a very soft press and a thunderous bang. And in this way, Arpeggio now has a sort of dynamics and feel that a human can create. I mean, it can give a masterful performance, but the only thing Arpeggio can't do is take a bow. <laughs> 